Well, 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 as you can see, we're in a hotel doing a little bit of travel. And for those of you familiar with the channel that see this format video from time to time, that means it's time to discuss the fragrances I took with me on the trip. And usually I bring some pretty serious slash badass fragrances with me when I travel. And I got three special ones I want to talk to you about. So stay tuned. Starting with my actual current scent of the day that's been pumping off of my skin for hours now. I've had it on for several hours and it's an Oak Moss Sheeper Lover's Delight. That being Nishane Hasavat. This stuff is just stellar, guys. For those of you that have smelled it before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Undeniable similarities to Aventus up top. You know, my, every time I talk about it, I feel the need to address the elephant in the room with this fragrance. But... After that initial blast, they start to go separate paths. This is centered around more herbaceous, greenery, oak moss type of scent profile. Woods and oak moss is like the heart and core of this fragrance. Whereas with Aventus, it's all about smoky pineapple with some vanilla and musks and stuff like that. Where you get the pineapple, you get some bergamot, you get a good bit of fruitiness and citrus up top. Very fresh and bright. But like I said, it's, it, this is so much more of a Sheepra, I feel, in the scent profile, more true to a Sheepra anyways, than Aventus even is. Because this is just polished and refined. This is a bit more of a classy take on a somewhat similar style to that. Though, like I said, once that initial blast starts to calm down, they take different paths. This is, like I said, much more herbaceous, green, and very woody. Very oak moss forward. Really, really good stuff. Beast on my skin. Long lasting and very loud. I don't know how it works for you guys, for those of you that have it and tried it. But for me personally, this stuff is bordering a beast, pretty much a beast, really. It's loud. I never do more than five sprays. Five sprays is more than enough. I'm actually only wearing four sprays today, three around the neck, one on my bare chest, and it is more than enough. Definitely going to le lead you to have a much more interesting scent than most guys around you when you wear fragrances like Nishane. Hasavat. A very dynamic fragrance for as simple as it may sound when I describe it. It's much more dynamic than that. It's clean, zesty, bright, citrus, fresh, soapy clean kind of with a bit of an animalic, musky, dirty nature at the same time. That being the new Zaharoff Signature Royale X. I had to bring this with me. I haven't worn it in a few days. It's incredible. And I'm not one for musky fragrances, but damn if this isn't a great musky fragrance. It really is, like I said, beautiful, zesty, bright, uplifting citrus. There's this gorgeous juniper note in here. Juniper really, really stands out for me, even in the air, but it really comes out on my skin. This, like I said, zesty, bright, and clean. Very aromatic, uplifting, invigorating, if you will. This is life affirming this is an invigorating opening to me and then that slightly animalic leathery accord with that touch of oud that just kind of adds to that animalic nature with a little bit of a warm wood smell but more of a touch of animalic edge to it with this dominating clean white musk that is in this fragrance claude Deere did a magnificent job you do smell the original signature royales heart and core dna to this fragrance especially up top but it starts to really separate itself in the dry down the, there's a drastic balance change in the notes there's a few things that were removed a few things that were added but most notably this is a 27 percent parfum extract this is a pure parfum not a abundantly room filling loud beast but it has a pretty dense lingering trail. That's where the magic is with this fragrance. This will grab somebody, this will captivate somebody. It has an aphrodisiac appeal. Those of you that know the story behind the olfactive profile and the story being told of this scent, you know where I'm going with that. It just has that appeal. It definitely has that appeal to my wife, her words. Very sexy smell, very interesting sexy smell is the Haroff Signature Royale X. And the final fragrance that I brought is one of the more complex, probably the most complex, fresher leaning fragrance I own. One of my personal favorites from the house, this is a Raja Parfums fragrance, and it's a superstar. Like I said, very, 
very complex, musky, boozy, citrus dominant. A lot of wood. There's so much going on here with Burlington 1819. One that I haven't been wearing recently, not since the summer, early fall, that I really needed to bring with me because it's been a little while. <sighs> I'm telling you, it smells like citrus peel. I've said this before when describing this fragrance. It smells like the peel of the orange, the peel of the bergamot and the lemon. It's a citrus medley, but more so orange peel type of smell for me. And I think that has a lot to do with this rum that's in here. And it's not overly boozy, but there is a nice boozy warm touch here. It's super fresh citrus and there's a zestiness here for sure. It's a little zingy is actually a better word than zesty. And it's toned back spice, but detectable spice. It's more warmth than it is spice. There's fresh attributes and accords here, but so many warming accords at the same time. It's really hard to pick out particular notes with this fragrance. Like I said, extremely complex. This is a magnificent fragrance. While one of my favorite from the favorites from the house, it's not the one I wear the most because it's just it's a storytelling fragrance at its finest, extremely complex. Every time you wear it, you're bound to pick up something different because there's such a ginormous amalgamation of notes here that creates so many just unique and interesting and just different accords on my skin, unlike really any other fragrance in my collection. So probably the most interesting in this video, no, it is the most interesting, intriguing, different, and Fragrance full of complexity in this video is definitely Raja Parfums Burlington 1819. An olfactive experience worth having. Get a decant or a sample. You need to try this. Well, that's the three that I brought with me on this particular trip. Three stellar luxury offerings. Um, Nishane Hasavat can be found for a little over $100 for a 50 ml mid 100s for a 100 ml from places like Kingdom Fragrances, which is use my link tree down below for discounts and on apparel fragrances supplements i have a variety of things i've simplified the video description for you guys lately and really cut down the links to centralize everything zaharoff signature royale x um, i can assure you there are just a very small amount of bottles left so those of you that have been wanting to get it and you don't want to have to wait till late spring early summer when it gets potentially restocked there's a 10 percent off code for that as well and then with raja parfums they're pricey. They're very, very pricey, but some of these are olfactive experiences worth having. And in my opinion, Burlington 1819 might be the most enjoyable and intriguing olfactive experience to have from the house. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. Have you tried any of these three? If so, what are your thoughts on these three particular fragrances? I'd love to hear what you guys think about them. Good, bad, or indifferent. Everybody's got their own opinion on these down in the comments. Until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these three and you give them a spray now, I'm extremely confident you'll thank me later because they're quite interesting, incredible fragrances. Have a good one, guys.